So I will show you all the results that we produce in the, this uh, years okay uh, okay I think that uh, all you know uh, some an important family of human proteins that are the HNRMPs HNRMPs is a big family of protein involved uh, in general in RNA processing but really in a lot uh, of, uh, of uh, um, system in a lot of pathways. So, uh, indeed, this family is highly conserved along the evolution. Then we have these HNRMPs in the most of model organisms, including Drosophila. Uh, these HNRMP are able to associate with RNAs, nascent RNAs, and uh, support the localization, maturation, and translation of these RNAs. And uh, study in uh, the last years show that uh, these uh, HNRMPs are involved in uh, many, many <coughs> roles, not only RNA processing like cell signaling, telomere biogenesis, DNA repair, and in general in the regulation of gene expression. And uh, many of these HNRMPs are able to shuttle between the nucle nucleus and cytoplasm. And this is very important uh, also because uh, this movement is, uh, uh, um, um, the regulation of this movement uh, causes uh, uh, several uh, disease. And uh, in, in particular, most of these HNRMPs are involved in cancer and in narrow diseases. And, uh, um, yeah, the, the nice thing is that Drosophila encodes for many of these uh, proteins, indeed have uh, uh, 14 major homologous, uh, like for example, the most famous are um, HRB87F, that is the homolog of, of uh, uh, HNRMP uh, uh, A2B1 family, or HNRMP98, but also TBPH, that is uh, TDP43, Syncrip, and uh, uh, also uh, another interesting protein, squid, that is the homologo of a family of HNRMP AB, in particular A1. And uh, then Drosophila represent a very good model to study all the HNRMP, of all the human HNRMPs involved in this kind of diseases. And uh, yes, when I started uh, my uh, postdoc in uh, Davides Corona's lab, I uh, studied the, uh, a particular compartment called omega speckles in which HNRMPs are associated with a long non-coding RNA called uh, HSA omega to form this structure. As you can see in the picture, uh, this is in red, this is uh, cells from Malpighian tubuli, then this is a nucleus of uh, Drosophila Malpighian tubuli, and in blue we see DAPI, in red we see squid, that is one of the HNRMP that I nominated in these minutes. Now here we will see in uh, uh, green the riboprobe that uh, uh, um, uh, mark the long non-coding RNA HSR omega, red squid and in uh, yellow the merge between the RNA and the protein that represent the omega speckles. Clearly, the omega speckles are a lot. Indeed, the, this complex is uh, uh, c consisted from many of the HNRMP that are structured by the long non-coding RNA. Then the, is a big complex, and uh, our idea is that uh, the omega speckles are different. Uh, depends on the tissue. Then the combination of the HNRMPs change depending on the tissue in which they are uh, um, engaged. Um, these omega speckles uh, are conserved in, in all the tissues in Drosophila. Then we have omega speckles in brain, in Malpighian tubula, in salivary glands, in uh, um, whatever <laughs> is, uh, is uh, re really, really present, the structure in all the tissues in Drosophila. And we start to study Malpighian tubula only because it's more simple to see omega speckles because this tissue have a cytoplasm that uh, is good for the immunofluorescence, then this is the only reason that we start with this kind of uh, um, tissue. And um, yeah, I, uh, I decided to uh, understand what happens in omega speckles, who is the regulator of omega speckles, because studied, uh, started my postdoc, I found a genetic interaction between a chromatin remodeler, that is eye switch, the long non-coding RNA, HSA omega. 
iSwitch is a very famous ATPase and uh, is the uh, uh, enzymatic uh, um, uh, is the enzyme of several uh, remodeling complexes uh, conserved along the devolution, in particular in Drosophila. Iswitch is the ATPase of three different uh, remodeling complexes that are ACF, crack, and NERF. And uh, uh, Iswitch is uh, principally a nucleosome sliding factor, indeed using the uh, ATP hydrolysis, energy of ATP hydrolysis move and ch change the position of the nucleosome along the chromatin. Moreover, is a, a really important organizator of the uh, chromosome structure. Indeed, as you can see in the picture, when we lost the ice switch function, uh, this is a new mutant, we see a decondensation in particular in the um, uh, in X chromosome of the male of Drosophila. And uh, here we can see a totally uh, loss of condensation in the chromatin when we have an enzymatically inactive form of this enzyme. Then, when uh, um, we lost uh, the enzymatic activity of iSwitch, we lost uh, the uh, condensation role of this protein. In general, is only, um, uh, uh, iSwitch is also a very important regulator of gene expression. Indeed, we found a lot, a, 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 a lot of genes that are silenced but also uh, expressed based on this deregulator. There are a lot of targets that are regulated by iSwitch. Clearly, is an uh, essential gene than the, the new mutant of this uh, um, um, protein uh, die at the third larval stage. Then we can observe the phenotype only until the third larval stage because the zygote survive thanks to the maternal contribution of the mother. Now, uh, in general, then, uh, iSwitch uh, uh, is involved in a lot of uh, other activities, not only organization of the chromatin and uh, regulation of gene expression. Indeed, <coughs> several data show that uh, is uh, have a role also in replication of the heterochromatin, in the epigenetic resetting after nucleotransplantation, in, in uh, stem cell cells renewal, in the morphogenesis of sensory neurons, and also in the regulation of RAS pathway. And... Uh, I found with my study that uh, iSwitch is also important in the organization of the nucleoplasma compartment. Indeed, studied the regulation of the, the nature of the interaction between iSwitch and the non-coding uh, non coding RNHs omega. We found that respect the normal shape of the omega speckles in a wild type nucleus, when we lost the ice switch function, <coughs> we have this dramatic change in the uh, structure of the omega speckles, and we uh, have not the normal dot shape, but this uh, tray-like shape. And then, and, uh, and this uh, uh, change is uh, valid also for the H and RMP that are associated with uh, 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 HSA omega, then we have uh, in the uh, uh, iSwitch mutant a change in the uh, structure and uh, is uh, really clear also in this, this is a wild type nucleus, this is an iSwitch null nucleus in which uh, also the squid, the protein associated with the HSA omega is completely changed in the, in the structure. We, I demonstrated also that this interaction is not only genetic, but it also is also physical and functional. Indeed, the HSA omega uh, non-coding RNA is uh, uh, able, uh, I'm sorry, I switch. We can go more fast. And uh, we, we I demonstrated that uh, is uh, uh, also a physical interaction, a functional interaction. Indeed, the, the non-coding RNA is able to uh, retard on uh, uh, yes on an assay the um, 
the movement of the of the complex when we when i put eye switch we can see a retard in the in the shift of the complex and uh, this is specific for hsr omega because with an rna control we didn't see this uh, uh, this uh, shift so strong moreover HSR omega is able to stimulate the ATPase activity of eye switch, and then we conclude that there is a clear interaction between the non-coding RNA in this uh, uh, protein, and, uh, and we conclude also that uh, the loss of eye switch causes a global defect in the organization of the omega speckles. At this point, I start my own group and I brought a project to understand which is the role of the uh, eye switch in the organization of the omega speckles and uh, uh, what happens when we lost this function and then what happens to the RNA processing of all the uh, targets of the HNRMPs and the omega speckle complex when we lost the eye switch function. And uh, so, uh, I uh, uh, yes okay this is the recapitulation of the of the of the project in which I which is involved not only in the chromatin uh, condensation and regulation but also in the organization of the omega speckles. I want to conclude my talk and open <laughs> uh, uh, questions and the interaction with uh, you and also suggestion clearly and uh, present. Uh, all the people that work with me and my group, and uh, in particular Luca, that have done the most of the work that I presented today. Now Luca is moving in Japan because uh, he uh, win a tenor for two years, and uh, so he's, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, ready to start independent. And uh, Rosa, that win a uh, um, uh, uh, PhD uh, in the uh, Sarafele in uh, Milano and uh, Lorenzo that have done all the EMSA and the biochemical test for TBPH that win uh, a fellowship in uh, Finlandia and uh, these are three um, really nice students uh, that uh, probably will continue part of the work during the second part of uh, <laughs> their uh, course and so uh, thanks uh, all to you for the attention so uh, i'm ready for uh, the questions <laughs>